All right, we have a customer that came in today and brought in two HP laptops, an HP Envy, the big one, and HP Spectre. This is the non-USB-C model. It has the regular circular charging cable. And he said that both of them do not power on. The customer drove from Orange County, about maybe 40 minutes away. He's a viewer on our YouTube channel and it was pleasure talking to that customer. So we already have this MacBook open, not MacBook, HP Spectre. I worked on so many MacBooks today. We already have this HP Spectre, the cover open. I have the battery disconnected and we're gonna start with physical inspection. We're gonna look at the board to see if there's anything blown, any components discolored, any missing components, anything that may be obvious that would help us in the repair process. So let's start with physical inspection. I'm just gonna quickly run over the board. Sometimes we can tell if there's anything burned, anything blown. This is the DC cable here. MOSFET diode capacitor. This capacitor does not look too good. We'll get back to it. I'm just making notes of what I see here. The board is still in the laptop. We did not remove the board. I do not see a need to right now. And everything looks good as far as I can tell. Now, Big Boss already went over this laptop and usually he checks all the basic stuff. He replaced the battery and we were not able to turn that laptop on even on a fully charged battery. So right now we know that our problem is not a charging issue or a battery issue. If that board has a short, it can cause the laptop not to power on even on a fully charged battery. And I've seen that a lot. So nothing obvious. Now the next thing I wanna do, right now we have the battery cable disconnected. The next thing I wanna do, like I did yesterday, is inspect the motherboard under a thermal cam. But in order to do this, we have to plug power onto this laptop. I have a charging cable here. This is the blue HP tip. And let's inspect the board under a thermal cam and see if there are any heat spots. Right off the bat, I see a heat spot flashing on the board, flashing. And that heat spot is pointing to, it's pointing to the capacitor I told you about. The capacitor that does not look good. I mean, I wish I can show you what's on the screen here. I told you that the cable got damaged, the one that connects from here to the HDMI mixer. I bought another cable, but the problem turned out to be not the cable. We used an RCA to HDMI box and I think ours went bad. So I bought two of them and neither one of them worked. I do not know if both of them are not good. I bought them off eBay. Uh, it's like $7 a piece, but none of them is working. So I do not know if both of them are bad or I don't know. I changed the HDMI cable as well and I still cannot get this camera to connect to the mixer. That was not the case a week ago. I know the problem is not the camera itself. Why don't we try this one more time? I'm gonna connect the RCA cables onto this RCA to HDMI box. And we're gonna supply power to this box. And we supply power via this USB cable. And we have to plug the HDMI cable that goes on to the HDMI mixer or switcher.
the input is flashing, which means it cannot detect that box. Anyway, I'm not going to spend any time on this. I already spent like 15, 20 minutes trying to troubleshoot what's going on. And I believe that those two RCA to HMI boxes are faulty. Right now, I see something flashing. Maybe we can do like we did yesterday with the MacBook. I can show you what's going on like this. We have power plugged into the laptop. And right now, if you notice, right there. I see something on the board that's flashing, and that thing is where the capacitor I pointed to is. So it's possible that we have a short on that capacitor. Very possible. Or it could be the MOSFET, or anything else that follows. We're going to measure and see. Let me disconnect the charging cable, and let's go ahead and measure where that heat spot is coming from. And the heat spot is coming from this area right here. Heat spot is coming from this area right here. I do not know if it's the MOSFET that's causing the heat spot or this capacitor, but since this capacitor does not look good, I'm going to start by measuring this capacitor. Just want to see, do we have a short here? If yes, then I'm going to start by removing this capacitor and see if we still have a short. But right now, let's go ahead and measure meter in diode mode. And just like I thought, we have a short here. So before I diagnose or remove anything else on the board, I'm going to start with this capacitor and see if removing this capacitor will solve our problem. Let me change the orientation so we do not burn that DC connector or socket. Okay, what we can do is we can remove this capacitor using low melt solder. I do not want to use hot air and possibly cause any damage to those plastic connectors. So why not just use low melt solder? And for all of you following this channel, you know how magical low melt solder is. Let's apply a tiny bit here. And we're going to apply a tiny bit right here. And the capacitor is out. Now, I do not want to get rid of this capacitor, not just yet. I'm going to leave it on the side here. And we're going to measure to see if we still have a short on the board. Let's put it on the side. And let's measure. Meter in diode mode. And do we still have a short? And the short is gone. Look at this. We are not getting a short anymore. This is ground. And this one was measuring short. So right now, the short is gone. We should be able to power on this laptop without this capacitor. This is a bypass capacitor where one end is ground and the other end is positive. And this capacitor is used to filter out noise. So even without this capacitor, the laptop should turn on. But since that capacitor was causing a short, the laptop would not power on because positive was being shorted to ground. So let's just keep it. Actually, we do not need it. We do not need this capacitor anymore. We can safely throw it away, but let me measure it in continuity mode from both ends and see what we get. And look at that, that short. So this is acting like a wire. out. I'm almost 99% sure that this laptop will power on since we released the short. But let me just keep you waiting for a bit until I take my time cleaning the board. And when I clean the board, I do a really good job cleaning. So it takes at least five, 10 minutes to clean that spot. Just keep waiting and you'll see. Just kidding. I'm going to plug the battery. Oh, you know what? Let me try to power it on without plugging the battery and see what happens. I'm going to plug that charging cable. 
And right now I see a white light. I see a white light. That's a very good indication that the laptop is working. I'm not seeing an orange LED because we do not have the battery plugged in, but let me try to power it on. And I do not see a light on the power button when I try to power it on. Maybe we have to have the battery plugged in. Let me plug the battery and see what happens. Disconnect the charger. But the good thing is we have a white light when we plug the charging cable in. We did not have that before. Okay, so let's see. And now we have an orange light. We have an orange light. Does that mean that the laptop is fixed? Not yet. Oh, wait a minute. I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I was pressing this button for power. It's this one here. I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, now I see the light. Right there. Laptop is working. Amazing. Laptop is working. And we see the orange light, which is an indication that the battery is being charged. Awesome. So we fixed the first laptop for the customer. And now we're going to jump over to the second laptop, the HP MV. I do not know if Big Boss already opened that laptop or not, but we'll see. That's it. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.